everyone. Today we're going to learn how to make my favorite steak fajitas. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by putting about a tablespoon worth of butter in the pan and just letting that melt. And by the way, I started the pan on medium heat. Once that butter kind of gets melting a little bit in the pan, we're going to put in a blend of peppers and onions. Now this pepper and onion blend is available pretty much in any frozen food section of your grocery store. Or also you can buy it fresh in the fruits and vegetables section where it's already pre-sliced and pre-cut for you. You can also choose to buy your own Vidalia onion and red pepper or bell pepper, whichever blend of peppers you want to have in your fajitas. And you can just slice them yourself. Pretty much you're going to want to use one pepper and one onion for each pound of meat that you'll be using for your fajitas. I find that one pound of steak is pretty much enough for a family of four. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow this pepper and onion blend to get tender for about three or four minutes. It'll need to cook here and we're going to take our spatula and start around and, you know, get every part of it nice and tender. Okay, so my peppers and onion have been cooking for about five minutes because I noticed when I use the frozen vegetables, it does take a little bit more time to get all of the water out and get them dry. But I'm going to go ahead and start taking them out and I'm going to put them in a side bowl just to the side while I put the meat on. Okay, so now I've put my meat on. Um, the type of meat that you're going to typically use is you can use bottom round steak and you can buy that and cut it yourself or you can buy a fajita steak that's already pre-cut or stir fry also works fine. This is 1.15 pounds and this is what I'm going to serve to my family of four. Um, so once you put the steak on, you're going to let it cook for just a minute or two before you put the sauces in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup of A1 or you can use store brand steak sauce that's the equivalent of A1. Okay. And then I'm going to also add the same amount of medium salsa. And it can be any brand. It doesn't matter. about three quarters of a cup of each okay and then we're going to mix that up together and we're going to separate the meat and kind of get it all in there so that all the meat is marinated well in the sauce okay this steak has been simmering in the sauce for about four or five minutes now so once i don't see any more red on my steak I'm going to go ahead and add back in my pepper mix from my side bowl. Mix it in really well and get everything all saucy. And then you're going to let it to continue to simmer for about another two or three minutes together. Okay, so our fajita blend is ready and smelling delicious. So what you're going to go ahead and do now is turn off your stove and maybe let it cool down just for a minute or two before placing it on your warm tortilla. You can use any toppings that you like. I particularly love shredded cheese, sour cream, and diced tomatoes, but that's up to you. Um, you can have it just plain the way it is. It's delicious just as is or adding additional toppings, whatever floats your boat. Um, you can also use this recipe the exact same recipe using chicken instead of steak the only difference is you don't have to use a one unless you particularly love the taste of a one you can use a one and salsa or just plain salsa either way your chicken would turn out to be delicious as well so thank you for watching my video today and have a great day hope you enjoyed it